Welcome back to GML TV. I'm your host, W.A. Mitchell. Today we have the second and final part of our panel discussions with a host, a new one, Patrick Tarr, our producer. And he'll be interviewing Campaign for Liberty's Laura Ebke and Grassroots in Nebraska's Chair Shelley Dowdy. Following the panel discussion, it, Dan Draney is interviewing Lori Storm of 912 Freedom Project about the recall petition she's circulating. The first part of the panel discussion can be viewed on our website, gmltv.wordpress.com. Go there and check it out. Please enjoy the show. Patrick, take it away. All righty. Um, I guess another thing, we, we've mentioned the 17th Amendment. Um, and uh, mentioned the 16th a, a little bit. And, you know, I, I think it, it's, it's something that's important. And I encourage the viewers out there to go back and, and do a little bit of studying on this time period. Um, it, it seems 1913, uh, quite a few things happened that year that I, I think uh, the, the viewers need to go back and study. Uh, we, we mentioned the 17th Amendment and the huge impact that that ha has had on the balance of power. Um, couple that with another huge power grab that the federal government did that year, the 16th Amendment, uh, which is the income tax amendment for those of you that, that didn't know. Uh, until 1913, the United States did not have a federal income tax. And somehow we seem to get by just fine with, without it. Um, also that year was the uh, Federal Reserve Act, which gave us the, the great entity known as the, the Federal Reserve. Um, I guess I know a lot, a lot of people in the Campaign for Liberty and uh, you know, Ron Paul's campaign made uh, the Federal Reserve uh, a, a pretty big issue. And I didn't, you know, so I, maybe I'd see if, if there's something you'd like to say about it. Sure, well, we've, we, have, we have made that a, a big part of our, um, our efforts in the last year or so. Um, Congressman Paul had um, HR, or H, H604, HR, HR 1207. We were actually quite pleased here in Nebraska. All three of our representatives finally signed on as co-sponsors to the bill. Last time I checked, there were 313 co-sponsors um, to the House bill, um, something like 30 altogether in the Senate, but we haven't been able to get either of our senators to sign on um, to the to the S604. And, and, and certainly the Federal Reserve, um, you know, mo none of us here um, has ever lived without a Federal Reserve. We can't imagine what life would be without having, it's, it's just a part of our, our lives. But if you go back and look at history, um, depressions and, and, and economic downturns were much less severe. You know, a, a managed economy, which is essentially what, it, what the Federal Reserve does, it, it manages our, our economy for us, um, but it doesn't always manage it well. <laughs> and and that's, you know, that's the problem is that, that uh, you know, you let them, the Congressman Paul's idea is really that you let the, let, let the government, leave the government out of it and let the market take care of things. And while you will have downturns, your downturns are, are less, are less severe. And so, um, you know, we could spend a whole, a whole show talking about the Federal Reserve System, so. And, and we will eventually. Okay. Excellent. Um, yeah. I, I guess one thing I would like to say, I, I gave a, uh, a speech in one of my classes recently, and it was a persuasive speech, and I decided for the topic why the Federal Reserve needs to be audited. And, you know, in my speech and in the, the research I did leading up to it, the reason it was created in the first place was it was supposed to limit recessions and keep a depression from happening. It was uh, supposed to keep unemployment low, and, you know, I, I found it remarkable, you know, that, that since the creation of the Federal Reserve, oh, since the creation of the Federal Reserve, we've had 13 recessions, including the Great Depression, 
which Fed chief, Ben Bernanke, who is a noted scholar on the, the subject, admits the Federal Reserve caused. Um, it's supposed to keep unemployment low, and we have 10% you know, unemployment. If you factor in the real unemployment, so to speak, it's 17%. So, you know, then not to mention the trillions of dollars that they've, you know, dispersed in bailouts and whatever. Um, it really is, since they've failed at the job, the reasons for their creation, basically, and they have this huge impact, you know, I, I think that's something that I'd like to, you know, share with the viewers, the importance of, they, they need to be audited. I mean, at, at least audited. I think everyone can agree with that. Um, as you mentioned, 313 sponsors in the House out of 435, so it's hardly a partisan issue. You know, there, there's over 100 Democrats signed on. Um, so, I, yeah, I would encourage our viewers to give Senator Nelson and Senator Johans a call and ask them to <coughs> sign on to an audit of the Fed. Okay, um, now I hear a little bit of a rumor that you guys might have a little bit of an announcement to make here. So I guess we'll start with Shelley here. Well, d independently of one another, really, uh, Laura and I, with both of our groups, had decided to do, do some things in conjunction with the, the unicameral. Um, Linda Roman, one of the members of our group, very bright, uh, able individual, um, had really structured in her mind an actual plan for <coughs> activism and advocacy that we would train uh, together and go advocate at the legislature for certain issues that would come up, keep a better eye on all levels of government here at the school board, utility, uh, you know, like the LES, um, public schools, city council, county and commissioners, very ambitious plan. Uh, but at the same time, Laura was working with her group and decided to develop a, a group of people who would read all the bills coming out of the state legislature, which that's also ambitious, <laughs> but important and necessary. Um, and we've done a lot of discussion and, and we've determined that why, why go at it separately? Uh, we're, we're going to form a, a joint effort on that, rather a, a slightly separate entity, and, and just pool our resources. And I, I couldn't be more excited. We're working on the name for it, though, right now. 